So we have, uh, we have next, the next speaker is Emanuele Marco. Yeah, hello, I can hear you. Um, so let me introduce um, Emanuele. Um, so he's a physicist in INF in Roma. He did his PhD in Babar experiment and he's in CMS since 2007, working on various aspects of WZ and Higgs physics. He was subgroup convener of Higgs going to WW analysis and he edited the legacy paper based on run one data. On the detector side, he worked on ECAL and was the convener of the corresponding detector physics group for almost three years. And he will be talking about interaction of the Higgs boson with gauge bosons. So over to you, Emanuele. Thank you for, uh, for the invitation. Let, let me share my slides. Okay. Okay, now, now uh, you can see the slides in full screen, right? Yes, that's right. Okay, so thank you for the invitation again, and uh, it is a pleasure to, to talk about um, uh, the measurement of the, um, of regarding the X boson interaction with the, with the gauge bosons, because uh, those were uh, initially, the, the places where I, I worked when, when I started in my collaboration in, in CMS. And as you can say, thank you also for the uh, nice uh, presentation. I was, uh, uh, I, I just want to, to it's difficult on, on, the, on uh, such an online uh, event to, to share the enthusiasm of, of the time, but uh, I can start with the remembering the, the night where uh, we unblinded the, <laughs> The, the first the, 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 the X to the Z for lepton channels and that was uh, if you want was striking but it was uh, an easy start and then uh, after midnight I spent the, the rest of the night <laughs> trying to unblind and understand the monsters in the X to the channel that were, was uh, uh, most, uh, much more difficult <laughs> channel to, to understand but it was uh, at the end it was uh, an, uh, an, an, an happy ending uh, story. So at this point of the, of uh, of this this week, uh, it's uh, I will go quick on uh, on this because uh, there were a nice presentation on the theory side yesterday and also uh, <clears throat> the the introduction by by Vivek yesterday on on what the the the, the X, uh, is. So I want just to given the, the title of this talk, I want just to. Um, say that uh, uh, the X boson, of course, uh, is a uh, 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 the main player in, in, uh, in, the, in the standard model and uh, in, the, in the Lagrangian that has to um, be gauge invariant, uh, the mass of, of the uh, standard model gauge bosons for the, the W and the, and the W plus and the W minus and the Z0 uh, should, should be uh, zero if, uh, if there was not the, the X boson. And this is uh, in, uh, in uh, clear contradiction with the, with the evidence. So the, the, the CERN uh, experiment before, uh, before uh, HC, the, the, the way they discovered is of, of the mass, very massive W and Z bosons. Okay, so, uh, and also the X gives, uh, uh, the X field gives the mass also to the left and the right-handed fermions, which also are the, the, the are the, the players of the constituents of, of the nature at the end, no? because you have the, the quarks and you have the, the protons and the, the neutrons that have mass. And the Higgs, so when, when, you, when you turn on the, the Higgs field, uh, the beginning of the, uh, right after the, the Big Bang, so you give the, the, you have turned on this, uh, this special scalar field, and so all the particles uh, get their, their mass. So it, it is a fundamental um, object of the, of the Lagrangian on the, on the standard model. So in this presentation, we <clears throat> concentrate on the uh, gauge interaction with the, <clears throat> with the W and, uh, and Z and also with, the, with photons. So uh, the part of the, uh, of, the X, uh, of the Lagrangian which uh, couples to the uh, massive gauge bosons like W, w and Z is, uh, is this one. So the part with, uh, this is the scalar field of, of the X and this, uh, these are the fields of uh, the W and the Z. And this part uh, of the Lagrangian of the of the Lagrange give mass to the to the, to the W and Z and preserve the gauge invariance uh, of the theory. So now uh, regarding the, the, the couplings of uh, so the strength of, of this introduction of this interaction with the with the gauge bosons. 
So the, the three level coupling, as you see here in, the, in these diagrams, um, are proportional to the masses of, of the W and the Z. Here you see uh, the, the, the single point interaction of the X with the, with the W or the Z, or also the, uh, the, 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 four point, the, the four particle interaction of two X with the, with the Ws. So these couplings uh, govern the, the single and double, also double X boson production. Uh, or uh, the, the branching ratio of the decays of the X into uh, uh, gauge, uh, gauge bosons, okay? So uh, the, the LHC, uh, with the, the largest sets of round one and round two, and now we have also round three, which has just started, just provides the evidence of this, the realization of, of uh, this model in nature. So I would say that uh, uh, if, now we are, we are celebrating the, the 10 years since the discovery of, of the X boson, but still uh, it, the X boson is, is still one of the primary goals of the LHC program because we have now to, to move uh, to precision measurements, let's say. So to look for deviations of, um, for example, of, uh, from, the, from the standard model prediction of uh, these, uh, these, uh, these couplings here, okay? So, and, and in particular, <clears throat> there will also there will be <laughs> dedicated talks on it. One of the of, of the uh, big uh, picture um, topics, uh, in, uh, especially from CMS and data, in the future, will be uh, to determine the shape of the, the of the X potential. So, this is, uh, if you want, sorry, uh, an extension of uh, uh, the Mexican hat <laughs> uh, potential of the X that uh, could be could go raised here uh, at infinity. So. Uh, so it, this means that uh, um, uh, we live in a stable uh, minimum, uh, so our universe is stable, or uh, if uh, the potential is not right, right this, but uh, it continues like that, so this is only a, a, a false, false vacuum, but there is a, 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 a true vacuum, which is a, a lower energy than, than this, to, to which we can, uh, the, the universe can go, let's say, by uh, tunneling, by quantum tunneling effect, then, uh, okay, our universe means that uh, it is a stable. So the, the real question is <laughs> now the lifetime, if this is the case, the question is the lifetime of, of the universe. Okay. And, and you see, <clears throat> this happens because uh, as Roberto was mentioning before, uh, the, the top quark loops uh, tends to push the, the quartic coupling of the X to, to negative values, uh, bringing, so to, the, to this, uh, um, a stable region of, of the universe. So this meta-stability uh, region here in this plane of X boson mass and top, uh, top mass. Now, <clears throat> this is determined by the X potential. The X potential is uh, uh, as these uh, two, two, two parts here. So you have the parts that uh, gives you the shell. So, the, so the, let's say the, the, this mu, uh, the, uh, me, this mu is, uh, is the, basically is the X boson mass, and it was the topic of the, the, of the talk by, by Roberto before. And then you have also the, the strength of, uh, of the self-couplings of the X. So, that the, so here you see the, the quartic term of the X uh, field. And this, is, this will be the topic of a talk in the next uh, days, maybe, maybe tomorrow. So at least, I think it is, this is the imperative program now of the, of the future of, of, the, of the X. Uh, program, we have already a measurement of the X boson mass since uh, the discovery, but we don't, we, we are uh, improving and improving, but we are not yet there for the self coupling So this is, uh, let's say, uh, one of the most uh, hot topic for the, for the future in the X topic. Island. Now, at this point, I will not go through <laughs> the details of, of the X boson production. So here you have uh, the, the, the main production in decreasing order of, uh, of cross section, but I want just to, and here you have the, the, the case of the X for the, for the 125 GV X boson with the uh, ballets, which are the, 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 the modes for which we have uh, a, an observation or uh, an evidence. But I want just to say that <clears throat> since this topic, this talk is about the couplings of the X with the, with the uh, gauge bosons, so you, while in the, the during the uh, round one, especially at the, the, the discovery time, uh, we were probing the uh, X uh, boson uh, um, coupling with the, with the vector bosons through the, mainly through the decay. So the, we, you, you choose the, the most prominent uh, production mode, for example, the, the, the gluon fusion one, and then you look inclusively at, at the X and you look at the decays of the X to 
uh, WWZZ or Gamma Gamma, so the vector boson. You also can probe the uh, coupling of the, you can have the same coupling also in the production. So uh, in round one, let's say we profit mostly of the H2VV coupling in the decay, mostly coming from, the most of the statistics were coming from the gluon fusion uh, production, but also you can probe now the coupling in production. So you have the same vertex, okay, for example, in the VBF. And then you can profit, of, of course, of the, all the decays of the X, for example, also the decay into fermions, X to BV bar, uh, can be used to probe H to VV interaction because you can look at the VDF uh, production where you have this vertex, although, or also to the third uh, uh, most important uh, production mode, which is the uh, associated production of the X with um, a vector boson W or, or Z because you have the same vectors, okay? So now with the run two and also with the, the, with the run three, we will have more and more statistics to, um, to, to, to use these uh, less prominent, uh, prominent uh, production modes. Okay, so let me go to, uh, to the main uh, dish. So uh, the, the X boson coming with the gauge bosons. So just to establish this, the scene, we have now uh, established uh, the, the coupling with the, all the um, with all the uh, gauge bosons. Of course, there are, the, in, through the decay, for example, into the ZXWW, you have the direct uh, coupling, but also indirectly uh, to, with the photons, it's with, through the decay X to gamma gamma, uh, which uh, occurs with, with, uh, with the top work uh, loop. And also we have an indirect uh, measurement of the <clears throat> strength of the X, uh, of the gluon fusion production. So the, if you want to, with the, uh, the, the coupling with the, with the, with the gluon, because uh, also this happens with the, with the, sorry, with the, um, with the top quark loop. So you have this, and uh, you have, we have a measurement of the, uh, of the gluon fusion production with an uncertainty of about 15% nowadays. While for the VBF, uh, we have already uh, the production observed that uh, uh, more than five sigma level if you combine other NCMS. And here I, I show you the, 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 the if you want, the um, mass peaks <laughs> uh, with the current statistics of run two with the CMS, so Z, Z to four lepton, six to gamma gamma, that were shown by Roberto, but also something which is a, a mass related uh, quantity in XWW where you have uh, two neutrinos in the final state, so you cannot reconstruct <coughs> completely the, 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 the invariant mass of the, of the X, but you can, for example, look at the uh, transverse mass of the, uh, of, the, of, the, of the event, which is related to the mass. And here you see the, be the nice background subtractive um, plot, which, which matches with the X, standard model X uh, prediction here. So now let's go to, to the uh, high um, resolution channels. So this one, uh, have the, uh, both for leptons and gamma gamma have an excellent mass resolution, order of 1% PT resolution of the, of the decay products, so the leptons or photons. So you can, oh, this, this uh, um, means a high resolution of the, of the, of the X uh, invariant mass. And this can, can bring to a precision of one, or the one per mil uh, precision on the, on the X boson mass. And you have seen the details in Roberto's presentation before. You can also measure the width. Uh, in, the, in the standard model, this is uh, very narrow, so for any mil. And uh, Roberto shown that, that, that uh, we have the first measurement of the X width, uh, consistent with the standard model, but you see that uh, we are measuring a width of three mil, okay? Um, and then, okay, you can also the, the, you can also measure the spin and, and the CP properties of the X boson in these uh, in these uh, channels. We excluded the spin zero already in round one, but now <clears throat> and also pure CP odd state. But now there is a variety of searches uh, with, using 4L and gamma gamma, looking for small deviation of, from from the pure standard model coupling. So no more one hundred percent alternative hypothesis, but the small fractions of uh, non-standard model contribution to the, to the, to the X, uh, X to VV coupling. Okay, so this is just to compare the discovery time and, and now, in, just by looking at the plots. So this is the four lepton must speak uh, in, uh, at the end of, the, of, uh, of, of round one, uh, at the time of the discovery actually, and uh, nowadays. So you see here, this, if you want a zoom <laughs> to, to show you 
pictorial the, 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 the increase of, of the statistics from the discovery time to 2002 for the four leptons, for, also for gamma gamma. Here you, you, you should check uh, these against these. Now we also do a nice uh, background subtracted uh, plot of the inverted mass peak also in the uh, diphoton channel. So you can see even by, by high here the, the, the mass peak very clearly. And also for, uh, for WW, as I said, this is not <clears throat> a, a high precision channel for, for, the, for the mass resolution, but you can look at mass related variables like the inverted mass of the two leptons, of course, you have also the two neutrinos. Uh, but this is, you, you can see here, it was very, as, as I said, it was very difficult uh, to, to establish uh, the, the, the presence of the signal in WW at discovery time because you have large backgrounds, so there is a reducible background from. Uh, WW in resonant also uh, fake leptons, and you can really see that uh, there is uh, an excess uh, um, on top of the, the backgrounds. But now in run two, you see that uh, this is very, very clear. And, and also, WW now for the cross section measurement is one of the uh, driving uh, forces. Okay. And now that we have the statistics, uh, uh, I will talk about going using this data. I, I statistics for the uh, X2 uh, vector boson uh, decays or uh, uh, in, in production uh, differentially because we have a lot of statistics. So we can move from the a discovery uh, to a precision uh, uh, measurement. And this is done, for example, with the differential, uh, differential cross section measurement uh, with the so called simplified template cross section approach, which uh, is basically. Uh, split uh, the data in uh, beams of kinematic variables, for example, increasing number of jets or uh, PT of the X or invariant mass of the two jets. And the idea is that uh, uh, you, you split uh, the, the cross section in uh, boxes, uh, which, uh, um, uh, which, uh, which have uh, well-defined uh, theory uncertainty and can be mapped uh, very clear to, to the theory. So for example, the jet scaling is very uh, closely related to the QCD jet scaling. Or if you look, if you split, um, for example, the Coulomb fusion production in beams of uh, PT of the X, you, you, uh, with, the, with the beams at, at higher PT, you can probe, uh, for example, beyond standard model contribution in uh, effective field theory, um, effective field theory uh, constraining very well operators that are uh, specific to, um, to beyond standard model contribution. Okay. Okay, so this was done initially with a, a simplified approach. So the so-called state zero, uh, simplified template cross-section, which is uh, even uh, easy to, to understand. So basically you can see here uh, the classic splitting in, by production mode, basically gluon fusion, uh, VDF, uh, as a production with uh, W or Z or top quartz. Okay, you, you, you can see here the case of X to gamma gamma and X to the Z for leptons, okay? You see that, of course, the, the, the gluon fusion is the, is the one with the lowest uh, statistical uncertainty, but also the, the other modes are well, well um, measured with X gamma gamma, which has a, a larger um, uh, statistics. Um, and and with the, so with the precision of basically 8% total uncertainty, total uncertainty. But also you, you can see that uh, X to the four leptons, of course, is uh, as a, um, as a event rate, which is much lower than, uh, than X to gamma gamma, but, but profiting from the, the lower background, you, can, you have uh, similar uh, sensitivity, so similar, not sensitivity, but similar uh, precision to, to this uh, um, production cross-section. So you see that uh, the, 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 inclusive, the, the inclusive uncertainty on the single strength mu is about 12%. 12 so, not very far from the gamma gamma one. And you can see he, that also here, um, CMS, but also others measure the state zero <laughs> uh, simplified template cross section. So the, the cross section by production mode. Okay, you can compare, you can just rotate <laughs> this plot and compare with the, the gamma gamma one. But now then, uh, okay, with, uh, especially with gamma gamma, uh, you can profit of the larger uh, event rate to uh, split more this cross section. Okay, and it is very well, gamma gamma is very well suited for, for this uh, purpose. And you can see here the, uh, the, the maximal splitting or vice versa, minimal merging or how we call. So the, the simple template cross section in, um, 
uh, all the beans in which we split uh, the, the cross section. So here you see in blue, basically the, the beans uh, in which we split the gluon fusion cross section. So beans of uh, PT, number of jets, okay, uh, BBF, uh, WH production also split in the PT of the X and so on. And also you, you see here the, the, um, the lowest uh, rate production mode, which is TTH, which is not only established, but also split in uh, beans of PT. So, uh, so with Gamma Gamma, we are at, at the, the level of doing the first uh, differential measurement of, uh, of TTH. On, and uh, these measurements were um, com coming uh, on top of the standard model expectation. Okay, this is good or, or bad not news uh, according if you are optimistic or not. Uh, here you can see pictorially so the, the, the peaks uh, which are now visible not only uh, in the inclusive uh, production but splitting VDF or uh, associated production of the W and, and Z with the, with the X. So these are uh, very prominent uh, now. And okay, the, uh, this talk is about <laughs> the, the couplings with the with the, with, uh, with um, the vector boson. So this, uh, the TTH in, in gamma gamma decays is used to, to, to probe the, the, the top of the coupling with the X, but still you have the H to VV in the decay. And I would ju just want to say that uh, also in this uh, um, decay, also in this production mode, which is the, the lowest rate one, you, you now can see by I the, the X to gamma gamma peak. And so you see here the, the likelihood scan for the uh, signal strength, and so you see here that, that we have an evidence for, for this at more than uh, six uh, sigma, and this allowed us to do this uh, um, differential cross-section measurement. Now I want to do an intermezzo, which also matches with uh, Maurizio's presentation before, because uh, of course we could not have done uh, it to uh, gamma, gamma measurements without uh, machine learning, but also without uh, a, a perfect understanding of, of, the, of the detector. So in particular, ECAL is 90% uh, uh, of X to gamma gamma measurement. Okay, so, and, and to prepare for that, you have to do calibration at the, at the uh, extreme level because the, 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 the mass peak, the, 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 the resolution of the mass peak, which uh, at the end uh, determines the sensitivity with the X to gamma gamma channel, um, depends on the on the precision of the calibration of the detector, and I work on uh, since I started from CMS on the on X to gamma gamma on, on the ECAL calibration. So I know that it's very difficult to 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 bring this at the level where that that we had uh, for for discovery, and also to maintain with run two the same performance of of run one, and uh, and this is because now uh, with the with the real LHC pushing luminosity. Uh, all the detector move in time. So we have to follow all the possible drift and jumps of the detector. And, and we, for example, ECAL is, a, is, a, is something which is very sensitive to, 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 to radiation. And we, we are following this with many ways. For example, by zero to gamma gamma is the first resonance in two, gamma, in two photons that we saw much before the, the X. So basically the H, H start up. And now this is used uh, for um, tracking the the, the, the equal uh, scale, which at the end determines the X boson scale, okay? Which is what uh, Roberto was mentioning before. But of course, as Maurizio instead was saying, you, you, you have to do both. You have to, um, you have to follow closely the, what the detector uh, does, but you can profit also of the machine learning techniques that uh, in, uh, in energy physics, we, 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 we used the, since uh, the, the beginning. So you see here, for, for example, a pictorial example of what you can do with this. So this is the X bottom mass, uh, sorry, <laughs> not the, the Z bottom mass in Monte Carlo, uh, using only uh, ele electrons, so Z to E. If you just do um, the, the invariant mass of the, of, the three of the four vectors, so you get uh, this uh, ugly uh, peak, then you, you, you use uh, uh, the, the particle flow clustering and you get uh, the, the green, which is already much, much better. But then uh, you, uh, what we did uh, initially with uh, for X gamma gamma in, in round one, you can use uh, a regression, <clears throat> okay, Treno Monte Carlo that uh, tries to, um, to, to follow all the response of the detector as a function of uh, uh, a plethora of, of input, input variables. You, you can do something analytic uh, with uh, 
two or three variables, but you cannot do it with, uh, with uh, 100 variables, which are uh, or even co uh, not linearly co correlated uh, among them. So you, if you use, uh, for example, a multivariate regression, you get uh, to, to this. And this is what we use now. This was using Nisu Gamma Gamma as a, uh, as a uh, first application, but now it's used uh, everywhere in, in CMS. So even with, uh, for, for JETS, for example, for its big bar uh, channel. And here you see that uh, we manage uh, with, uh, with the tough work in run two to, to um, to have the same uh, level of uh, calibration precision of, of run one, which, is, which, was, uh, uh, which has been a challenge. Okay, now as, and I want to, to, give, to give another example uh, of uh, how the machine learning was using this, uh, uh, for example, this to gamma gamma channel, not only as a regression for the, for the energy response of the photons, but also um, to do something different, which is, uh, uh, there was a question before to, to Maurizio. So, so for example, to, to, um, uh, to derive corrections of uh, variables to, to make, uh, so to, to, to derive Monte Carlo corrections so that the, the Monte Carlo at the end matches uh, the data that you observe. For example, to the cluster shapes of Eagle. So you see here uh, the data in, in, uh, in uh, black dots, and you see also the histogram, the original histogram of, for the Monte Carlo, which is already quite good because uh, Gent is going, doing the right work, and also people are doing the right work in putting the right uh, nice calibration, which matches the data in the Monte Carlo. But at the end, uh, when you do the, the, the production at the beginning of the year, and then the, the, the data evolves and you discover something different. So you, can, you cannot redo the Monte Carlo to match perfectly the data, but you can do effective correction. And again, <clears throat> Uh, for, this, for example, in Gamma Gamma, there was this uh, um, multivariate uh, chain quantile regression that morph uh, the Monte Carlo to, to match the data. And this is very important because, for example, all these cluster shapes are used uh, in the regression uh, or in the selection. So they modify the signal model and, and the, also the efficiencies for, for signal. So it is important to derive, for example, the the, the mass of the Higgs boson, but also uh, the, the, the cross sections, the right cross section for the Higgs boson, because you need the correct efficiencies. And this also is a, a, an innovative application of multi multivariate uh, techniques to, to our field. Now, going back to, to simplify template cross section, this is the, in the case of ZZ to, to four leptons. So you can see here the, with the same colors, uh, the, the, the splitting of the cross section for uh, in beams of. Um, in, of production mode, so in colors, gluon fusion again, uh, but, uh, VDF, VH, and TTH. And you can see here that the error bars are larger because the statistics uh, is, uh, is lower. And you can see also that the beaming is uh, coarser than the, the gamma gamma case because of the um, lower um, uh, branching ratio. But you see that also in this uh, um, very pure channel, but also very low statistic, we, we are in the phase now of, of differential cross-section measurement, right? You see that many beans in gluon fusion, many beans in, in vector boson fusion, we are not yet there for, for TTH, uh, but uh, we'll be in that condition for, for run two. And uh, at, at this point, we are, uh, uh, for what we have uh, in this channel, we have a good agreement between them and uh, Monte Carlo. Here you see, instead, the, 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 the result for the, inclusive, for the inclusive mu for the different production modes, okay? And also, okay, another channel that, uh, that is very important for this job is WW, because it's true that you don't have uh, uh, high resolution mass peak, but still uh, you have a lot, for a 125 GeV uh, X boson, you have a large branching ratio. Okay, so uh, you have a large rate. So you see here again that the, if you compare the error bars in, for, uh, for the mu for, for GGH, VDF, uh, or VH mode, uh, they are, uh, closer to, to, to gamma gamma. So you have, the, of course, you have, you have two, two competing uh, pro, um, things here. You have a larger branching ratio, so higher rate, but also higher background. So at the end, the, the sensitivity, so the precision in these um, channel is at the end similar to, to gamma gamma or ZZ. And you, see, you can see here that for, for the first time, we have also results on the simplified template cross section, also, also in this mode, profiting of the, the large statistics. So you see here, the the, the gluon fusion uh, and the, 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 the vector boson fusion and the VH so the production is uh, uh, very, very decent. 
Uh, okay, and, and uh, at, the, at the level that we have now, so the, 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 the measurements are consistent with the, with the standard model predictions. So now you can do this in simple template cross section approach, which is uh, mapping the uh, splitting the cross section in bins, uh, which are very, very well defined uh, theory uh, uncertainties. But you can also do a more, a more classical approach, so uh, which is less, uh, if you want, model dependent. So you, you take the um, you, you take the, uh, the, the, the cross section, you split in bins of uh, kinematic variables, simple kinematic variables, for example, PT of the X or uh, um, rapidity of a number of uh, national jets, and, and you, you measure them differentially and you look for deviations uh, with a standard model expectation, of course, in, in the shape, not only in the inclusive uh, rate, but also in the shape of this differential cross section. And this is what uh, is, is being also done in uh, uh, X2VV modes. So for example, X2 for, let's start from X2 for lepton this time. You see that uh, we have first uh, a, an inclusive uh, fiducial cross-section, which is now at the 10% uh, precision level. But you can see here a nice uh, uh, differential cross-section measurement uh, in, PT, in bits of PT of, of the X compared with uh, the state of the art uh, Monte Carlo programs, for, for example, uh, to, to, which are to the ne next to next uh, leading order uh, in, in QCD, for example. And you see here uh, a, a, the comparison within the, the good comparison within the, the data and, uh, and these uh, two different Monte Carlo, Monte Carlo programs. So you see here that we are starting to do with X what we did with, with, with the W and the, and the Z. At the, at the beginning of, of, the, of the LHC. So we are moving towards a, a precision um, era of the, of the X physics. Here you see a nice uh, uh, plot, I think, of, of the inclusive, this is inclusive cross section, but done at uh, different uh, square root of S. So 7 TV, 8 TV, and 13 TV. Now we have also a point <laughs> here in, in run, three, run three, but uh, I think it will not be very different. It will be inside this, this band. Uh, and also this uh, can be done, uh, as I said, in a simple kinematic uh, observable, not only the PT of the X, but also X uh, rapidity, uh, or uh, absolute value of the rapidity, number of jets, and, um, and uh, PT of, for example, of the leading, uh, as the, 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 the PT of the leading associated jet, the X. for example, if you have a, a boosted uh, X uh, boson to the gluon fusion, for example, okay? And you see that, uh, in, in all these, uh, in, in all these um, uh, variables, so uh, X2 for leptons uh, got uh, a nice living with, with, the, with the expectation. Now, uh, this is even more recent. Uh, in, this has been done also in X2 gamma gamma, okay, and uh, profiting of the larger statistics. So again, the, the classical approach uh, to the, the cross-section. So again, this is uh, something which is, uh, again, splitting uh, in... Uh, something close to, to the production mode. So BPF, uh, boosted gluon uh, fusion, so number of uh, jets, uh, or associated production with, um, with, uh, with, with, w, with W or Z. And we also had uh, an inclusive cross-section of, of the exposition, which matches the, 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 the standard model expectation. But you can, so with Gamma Gamma, where you have the most of the, of the uh, statistics in this higher resolution channel, you can do even more. So we have the first double differential cross-section measurement. So for example, here, uh, the, the cross-section is split in two dimensions. One is the number of, of jets, so zero, one, and two. And each, in, each, um, in each bin of uh, number of jets, uh, we did, for example, the uh, differential cross-section in PT of the X, for example. Here, here you can see the data, and you can see again, uh, to uh, next to next leading order uh, prediction of the of the cross section. So, and the agreement is uh, is uh, is quite good. Here, this is uh, the, the contribution, for example, from uh, minor modes of the the, the X plus, for, for example, uh, VH production or or QQH production. The, the agreement is very good, and this was also done in, um, for example, in um, a plethora of of of, of variables. So. Uh, rapidity, uh, um, cosine of uh, the Collins Hopper um, angle, and so on. Okay. So let's go to WW. 
So this is the full picture that I, I will show in just a part of, of it. So the, also for WW, we are now measuring, measuring the cross-section differentially. So uh, in, for example, in beams of jets. So you see here, uh, I was showing just this because it's the zero jet uh, beam, which is uh, the one with the lowest background. Mostly uh, the background is dominated by the WW irreducible uh, reducible background you see here in, in blue. Then if you go to one jet or two jets or three, or three jets, you get more and more uh, TT bar production basically because TT bar produces the, the, the top decays into WB and then you get uh, the two Ws and, uh, and the jets, okay, from the, from, the, from the top decay. So this is the driving channel, but still you can see with the very, here you need a very, uh, um, uh, very good control of the background. You can get also in this uh, uh, higher number of jets uh, beam, you can, you can clearly see the X boson uh, contribution with the full run to statistics. And also with this channel now, uh, we, we are doing differential cross-section measurements. So here you see a similar photo what you were showing before for, for WW, for, uh, sorry, for gamma gamma and ZZ. So you can see the, the, the X boson cross-section. So uh, unfolding the, 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 the experimental uh, efficiencies and uh, resolution with, the, with Monte Carlo. Okay, you can see the comparison of uh, the, 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 the measurement here in, uh, with, the, with the black dots with, the, again, the, the next to next leading order uh, Monte Carlo. And you, you see that the agreement is very good. But and also you can see that why you, uh, this channel is important because the, the high statistics uh, uh, helps you to probe uh, kinematic uh, regions in, uh, that uh, are inaccessible to to channels with the lower statistic where, where, where you basically you respect your statistics and here at 100 GB. Here you are probing regions of the phase space uh, a little bit more extreme that could be, um, could be the, the, the places where you expect uh, new physics. Okay, so it is very important to have this um, high um, branching ratio channel. You will see probably an, uh, an example of this with this with the bar, which is another. Uh, candidate for this uh, to, tomorrow. Okay. And we also have a, a, a measurement of the fiducial cross section also in this, uh, this channel that is uh, agreeing with the Monte Carlo expectation. Now, with this, with this channel, which is high rate, uh, we also have the first measurement of the uh, VH uh, production of, with the significance of almost five sigma using this channel only and CMS only. Okay. And we have, uh, we have uh, since we have all these. Uh, um, almost an, an observation. This was also done uh, differentially, so you can see the the, the signal strength. So the, the, the signal strength, if you want, uh, measured in beams of PT of, uh, of, uh, of of the v, of the of the recoiling V boson being W or, or Z. And you see that uh, okay, the error bars are, are large, but uh, are, none of them are is inconsistent with the, with the standard prediction. Okay, now uh, to going to, to instead of low branch uh, ratio mode, for example, X to Z gamma. Okay, this is very important because we have observed the, the other modes uh, in, with, in, in the decaying to, to vector boson, so WW, ZZ, or gamma gamma. Uh, there is also uh, to the Z gamma decay, which is uh, much lower, uh, which has a much lower branch ratio. This is important because. Uh, because uh, you can relate uh, this mode to the others through the SU2 left uh, symmetry. So you can get a, con a, a consistency set test of the standard model. So here you see the CMS plot here, where you start to see uh, <laughs> a signal. We are not yet uh, at an evidence of, of it, but I want just to, <laughs> I grab the Atlas plot here. And you see, you see that also in their case, we are almost at the evidence level. So if, and if you combine the two and you expect that in run three, uh, the, the, the position of the peak will not move between other and CMS, you, you can see that you, you, can reach, you can reach an evidence uh, of, uh, of this channel uh, into, to, to Z gamma with, with run three. So it, it is something to, to, to look at in the, in the near future. Okay, now as I said multiple times that we are moving to a precision era of the X to, w, X to VD uh, coupling measurements. So I want just to, to show you the, the, the systematic, uh, the systematic uh, uh, contribution to, to this uh, measurement for the gamma gamma and ZZ uh, channels. Here you see these were done for the, in both cases for the simple template cross-section measurement. But you can see here the, the breakdown in experimental and 
um, and uh, theory uncertainty. So the, the, the for example, in Gamma Gamma, the, the experimental ones are the first ones here. And you can see that uh, the main one, okay, th there is something common, which is uh, the luminosity uncertainty, which is for cross-section is fundamental, which is common to all the channels. For the Gamma Gamma, of course, you have a contribution from the photo identification that, uh, that um, so where you can improve by improving the data to Monte Carlo, the Monte Carlo description of them, for example, with the use of the multivariate uh, regression uh, uh, techniques, uh, improvement, of, improvement of the knowledge of the scale and resolution uh, of, of the photons uh, that you can do with the Z. We are at the systematic limit, but we can improve uh, more if we think uh, a little bit more sophisticated than that we, we do now. And also, this is something common with the ZZ because in the ZZ you have the something which which is uh, related, which is prominent, which is uh, related to the systematic about the uh, knowledge of the lepton scale, systematic or the lepton efficiencies. Uh, for example, if you want to, want to measure the, the cross section, which is uh, which, which you see is the dominant one for the Z in all the production modes. And then you have the the systematics of the theory, which has very very large. For example, the gluon fusion. Uh, systematics is, uh, is prominent in this uh, synchronous template cross section. Here you see these, uh, for example, in, uh, in the left in the ZZ, but also in the gamma gamma case. It's, this is something where probably we cannot do much, but we, we can help uh, as a feed the forward uh, thing because we can give to the theorists uh, this differential cross section measurement here that they can use to improve their Monte Carlo programs, uh, uh, fix bugs, but also go to higher order. Uh, Monte Carlo using the constraints of, of the data that we give. This is just to give a summary of the uh, results uh, on the inclusive uh, mu uh, in, in the case of uh, uh, gauge bosons, so gamma gamma ZZ and WW, and just to show that these are these were the discovery channels, okay, and they are now also nowadays, of course, the, the, the ones which with the, the lowest uh, uncertainties. This is a total error. So uncertainty which is statistical and systematics. Of course, statistics and systematic play different role in different, in different channels, but still you see that uh, WW, ZZ and Gamma Gamma are and will be uh, the, uh, the, the ones where, uh, where that, that will, uh, will, uh, will dominate the, the, the main measurement. So cross-section, uh, uh, mass measurement and from width. Okay. Okay, then a, a word about the coupling modifier model that, uh, that you see uh, uh, everywhere. So uh, instead of the, the signal strength, you, you can, uh, which is the ratio of the um, uh, signal cross section of, against the, 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 uh, the standard model one, you, you can do uh, this in the, the, the kappa framework, which is similar. But it's different because this kappa is uh, um, the, the, the modifier of the, of the coupling itself. So the, the, the kappa squared is the ratio of the, of the cross section, but this, the, the kappa itself is the, the modifier of the coupling, which is a complex number. So it is also sensitive to uh, the, the, the interference between different diagrams, okay? So the interference can change the kappa and not the, for example, the, uh, sometimes the, the, the cross section. So it is important to, to do the fit, the interpretation of, of the, of the results also in this, uh, in, this, uh, in this framework. I will not say much because it's complicated stuff, but just to say that, for example, uh, you have an effective coupling, which is, uh, uh, for example, in uh, gluon fusion production, which is proportional to kappa squared, okay? But then uh, these uh, can be resolved. So if, if you have an interference term, uh, you, you, you can resolve, um, uh, it, it, the, for example, the, the, the coupling to the top with the coupling with the B uh, through the interference term, okay? And this, uh, um, this is what, uh, this is what typically you, 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 you always uh, look at uh, plots like kappa B versus kappa F, and this is what, uh, what now we use in the, in the combination uh, fits, okay? And uh, for example, this is summarized uh, in this uh, uh, plot that you've seen many, many times. Uh, so uh, for example, you can, uh, the, the, you, you can model the, um, the, the strength of the, of the coupling uh, as a function of the, of the particle mass, because uh, um, the, as we know, the, the, uh, the, the, the strength of the coupling of the X is increasing with the mass of the object which it couples. 
And you see here that the, the, the couple with the WNZ, which is the topic of this talk, are the ones that we first used, and they are with, with, the, with this small error bars are on top of the, of the predicted uh, line. But to have a line, you, you need a lever arm, and you need also the, the others, so the, the couple with the B and the top and the tau leptons. And now we have also the, the new one here down here. Okay, this will, you will see uh, tomorrow. Okay, and this is what I was saying before. You, you typically you see these kind of plots where you don't have only the, the, the kappa square, but you have the, the, the kappa V and versus kappa F, for example, to dimension. This is a like to scan uh, in the coupling to the vector boson and coupling to the, to the fermions. And here you see, for example, this for the X to gamma gamma channel. Uh, here you have two terms which are uh, distinct because of the, the interference term, so they are resolved for the fact that I was saying before. And uh, what we measure is uh, here, um, uh, the, the cross here, which is very well consistent with the standard model expectation, uh, for example, in the, in the gamma gamma channel. And you can see, for example, one example with using the, the WW channel, okay, kappa V again versus kappa F, which uh, with a lower, with the, with the larger uncertainty band, but still consistent with the standard model one. Of course, you can, uh, since uh, in CMS we are using a consistent uh, framework, we can, we can combine uh, all this measurement consistently and uh, shrink this, uh, this error band to get the final, uh, the final result. Uh, okay, I, I think I will skip this slide, but just to say that you can uh, reinterpret the, the result of the cross-section of the X to the V uh, coupling in terms of effective field theory. And, and uh, <clears throat> this is a uh, uh, what uh, what uh, what we do also in CMS, you can see that you can translate if you want the, the cross section measurement in constraints to uh, operators. Uh, these uh, CHW or CD or CA, which are um, operators of uh, effective uh, field theories. Okay, and uh, you get uh, constraints of that. You see that also here you, you, we have most of these operators which are consistent with the standard model expectation. <clears throat> Here, standard model expectation means zero for this, this, um, this uh, dotted line here, okay? And then let me go to the last part of, of this, which is uh, uh, partially covered by another talk, but I will focus on the uh, H2V couplings, and in particular to what we do now, so anomalous couplings of the X boson with the vector bosons. And uh, the, I cannot, I, I, I have to start with X to Z for Latin because this is the, the, the workhorse in this, uh, in this land. Because, okay, the, the, the most general amplitude uh, uh, of, uh, of the coupling of the X to vector boson, of, to, to vector boson, you can write uh, in, in this general mode where you have the, 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 the standard model, which is only this term A1, okay? And then you, you can add, you can add uh, additional uh, terms in this amplitude. Uh, for example, one uh, which, uh, um, uh, which uh, is related to the, the scale of, of the new physics that uh, is much, could be much larger than electro weak, and then you see the effect at the electro weak scale, but also additional terms from higher order operators which can introduce a CP uh, even uh, anomalous coupling, but also CP odd anomalous couplings. Okay? And I will say, as I was saying at the beginning of this talk, Initially, in round one, we were just using the decay of the X to, for example, to, to, to four leptons, but you can probe the same coupling, not only in the decay of the X to VD, but also in production. So now we do uh, everywhere. So with the uh, vector boson fusion, for example, production of VD to H, and then you can use H, which also decays into fermions. And you probe this coupling here, okay? Or also in TTH, which vice versa is produced with the coupling to the fermions, but uh, you can have the VD H2D coupling in the DK. Okay, so now we do all the possible uh, combinations. And the motivation, of course, is that uh, um, is that is the a general way uh, to um, to probe for new physics effect in the X uh, in the X land. And for uh, when you look for uh, for a massive uh, for V, which is a massive gauge boson like uh, WNZ. Uh, you have A1, which is uh, the standard model line. Uh, you can have CP even anomalous couplings and CP odd. But you can also, we, we also now um, uh, test the, 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 the case of V being a gluon. And, and in this case, we have only two terms. One, which is, which is again A2 
with what we call A2, which is a CP even and is a standard model like, but also one term, which is, uh, which is a CP odd. Okay. Sorry to interrupt. You have yes. 10 minutes. Yes, yes. Okay, thanks. Uh, we we do this uh, um, uh, in this uh, in this approach of uh, measuring the fractional cross sections, F, the, what we call FAI, which is a convenient parameterization. So it is effective um, cross section fraction of a given contribution. For example, the uh, the CPO one uh, divided by the the total one. Okay, so the the all possible co co combination and this fraction. So the the, the mod the the, modul, the square modulus of this is uh, really, the, really the, the fraction of the cross section uh, from, from, from that contribution, but it is a complex number. So you, sometimes you can also probe the sign of, uh, of this uh, complex number. And for example, the, in the case of, uh, of uh, W and Z, in particular uh, Z, where we, we can use the, uh, the, the Z2 for lepton, where we can reconstruct completely the kinematics of the events, so all this, the, the, the the angular distribution of the decay products, we, we even do uh, simultaneously, simultaneous fit of four possible effective fractions. So uh, the A2, A3, uh, lambda one, uh, lambda one to the, to the, uh, of the Z gamma uh, coupling here. So these are the, 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 uh, the couplings entering this, uh, this formula here. Uh, okay, for the gluon, we, do, we don't do this very complex analysis, but we just fit for one effective fraction. So the CTO effective uh, fraction without uh, going to, uh, to, the, to, without measuring the phase actually. And for the X to fermion, we can do some, something similar. You, can, you will see probably uh, this in the talk by Bemong, but uh, to, to, tomorrow, but <clears throat> uh, for this, we, we may, what we do is measure the, the, the fraction and, and the sign of, uh, of, uh, of, uh, of this coupling, okay? And this can be interpreted in two approaches. One uh, is effective field theory, again, so you translate the, 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 the constraints on these anomalous couplings in the effective field theory uh, operators. Uh, so when you were, and, and if you have, the, if you use this uh, model, you can even enforce the SU2 times U1 um, uh, symmetry. And then you, you can have four in, maximum four independent H2VV couplings, or you can do something stronger, which is uh, you equalize, you use the custodial symmetry, and you equalize, uh, for example, the WW and ZZ uh, couplings. No, so now uh, briefly on the technical tools, but which, which is, uh, I think, uh, one of the uh, strength, strong um, points of CMS, for example, with respect to, to Atlas, <clears throat> because we do, in CMS, we do all these analysis uh, in, in, in uh, in a consistent way, uh, both in in, uh, uh, in the fitting procedure and uh, in, uh, in uh, setting up the, the, the analysis. So, for example, if you have uh, um, if you have more than one amplitude uh, contributed from same initial state and same final state, uh, one which is the standard model one and others which are uh, the, the beyond standard model one, as in the case of the, 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 the measure of the total width that Roberto was uh, explaining before, you can have, you have the, uh, the, the square of the modulus, but also you have the interference term that contribute. So you have uh, two difficulties. One is, is that you have to fit this very complex uh, uh, schema. So you have many models to process to, to, to consider in the fit with interference also. Um, for example, that, that you have to, to model in the, in the fit. Uh, but also you have, uh, if you have the interference, you have to understand how, how much inter the, interfer the, the interference contribute as a, as a function of the, uh, because these, uh, the, the amount of the interference depends on the, on the strength of the anomalous coupling. So you should, with brute, brute force, you should do uh, an enormous number of Monte Carlo, fully, fully, fully simulated Monte Carlo events. That, that is impossible, would be impossible, okay? And this, uh, I think, is the strength of CMS that we, we do everything consistently in the fit and in the handling of this interference term with uh, what we know as a MELA technique, because <clears throat> we use MELA both for the, the discrimination, so we use uh, uh, we build discriminating variables using the maximum, the, sorry, the, the matrix element, the matrix element, okay? But also we use a reweighting based on the matrix element to uh, basically uh, to cover all the possible phase space from a fraction of 100% uh, 
standard model to a 0% standard model, okay? And so we, we just need a, a, a discrete number of Monte Carlo samples uh, uh, to cover an infinite and continuous spectrum of all the possible uh, interference terms. <clears throat> and this is Victoria what, what we do. We use the, this MELA approach uh, for uh, these anomalous coupling uh, measurements uh, for discrimination. So using, here you see the for ZZ for lepton case, a plot of mass of the four leptons versus a discriminating, uh, the, the, the kinematic discriminant based on, uh, on matrix element. Here you see the, the data with, which match um, the, the standard model <laughs> expectation here. This used to discriminate, for example, against the ZZ continuous background. But it is also used to discriminate different uh, anomalous couplings uh, hypothesis. For, so for example, in the VBF uh, case here, you see the standard model case, okay, which is the, the continuous red line with, with the, the standard model background, which, which, are, which are tiny in this case. And also you can see that the, uh, the different uh, FA3, FA2, F lambda one, so different anomalous coupling scenario <coughs> have, a di have a different shape of this uh, discriminant. So this discriminant can be also used in the hypothesis discrimination. Okay, so for example, in the four leptons, <coughs> here it is a likely scan, so it is a result on the CTO contribution of the H2VB coupling. So it's a very complicated li likely scan here. Uh, for example, in, in the um, most conservative case, which is the red, where you uh, you float, you, you fit for FA3 and you float all the other three possi possible anomalous uh, uh, coupling. So you see here the like you scan, which is, uh, okay, the minimum is around zero, which means standard model. But here you, I want just to, to, to show you what you can do if you think, if you think uh, smartly. So for example, this is for lepton only, but this is the, when you add the, the two lepton to neutrino, through uh, that mechanism of the interference with the off shell that uh, Roberto was mentioning before, that it is used to measure the, <clears throat> the Higgs boson width. And you, you go from here, okay, from using four lepton only to here. So you get, sorry, the contrary. So here is the four lepton only, and, and here is uh, the two lepton to neutrino. So you get a much stronger constraint if you add this, uh, this mode. Okay, so uh, I think the run three, I think, should uh, be used not only to uh, to repeat the analysis done in run two, but also to uh, think more and uh, uh, because you can really ch change the, the, the picture of your sensitivity if you, if you think uh, smarter. So I uh, use the mo modes that uh, are already measured in some way to in other, other ways, for example, to in this case, to measure the, the normal problems. Okay, I said that this is the workhorse for left. And so this is the, the likely scan for all the four uh, uh, possible anomalous couplings measured simultaneously. So here you see one dimensional scale for, for, for all the four, but also you see an example in two dimension of, uh, for example, FA3 and CP odd versus the CP even anomalous contribution FA2. You see that, that the standard model should be zero, zero. It is consistent, the, what we measure with data is consistent with the standard model, but it, it is a little bit displaced. So I think, think positive, and uh, I think this is something that uh, should be looked in, in run three or even Alumni LHC, but run uh, is uh, what we have tomorrow. Or uh, you can do this, uh, you can reinterpret this uh, in effective uh, field theory. So you get constraints, uh, for example, uh, simultaneously to, to the constraints of two uh, uh, high order operators in uh, effective field theory. So, for example, this CZZ, CZ. Okay. But I don't want to, to go in much day because I'm, I'm out of time. Uh, and okay, just to give a glimpse to the, to the future, this is a dedicated talk, talk but uh, just to say that, uh, okay, Illumi LHC, which is very far in the future, will bring probably the, the, the coupling to the, to the, of the X to the vector boson less than 2%. So this 4% for all the modes, but this talk concentrated on H2VV. So you see that for um, uh, gamma gamma, coupling with the gamma, with the photon, with the W and Z, this goes lower than 2%. So it's a precision, will be a precision measure. But before we have run three. So uh, I think we, we need to, to look uh, in the, um, for example, uh, in uh, H2D clean modes, uh, for example, for lepton or gamma gamma, and couple these with uh, modes with uh, hyper ratio like this to be bar to reach 
not to reach probably, but uh, to constrain anomalous uh, uh, double X uh, production. So, for example, X to four left on coupled with X to V1. Okay? Or a push on the X to invisible decays, uh, for example, using VBF uh, uh, production. I think that at the end of run three, this is the likely scan, scan uh, shown by Roberto before. At the end of run three, probably will, this will be minted by, by systematics, but, uh, um, but some of these systematics are, for example, uh, theory driven. So, for example, the, 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 the channel uh, mentioned by, by Roberto, um, uh, there is uh, the, 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 the observer is a missing energy. And uh, for example, the modeling, the theory modeling of the gamma plus jet uh, is, very, is very useful to constrain the, uh, the, the, the background to the, the X2 invisible uh, decay. So probably some improvement can, can will come from theory, but some can, we can also from, from our study. So I think we have to push on these, uh, on these topics in, in run three. So this brings into the conclusions. Uh, I think that, okay, the, the, the precision on the mass uh, using the, uh, the X to DV, uh, was mentioned by Roberto, is at the level of one per minute precision. Uh, now the, 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 the precision on the cross section of the, using the H to VB are at the 10% level, uh, inclusively. Um, the kind of fiducial cross section, but now I've, I've shown you that uh, we have uh, measurement at least in gamma gamma and ZZ, which are uh, which also reach a differential measurement of, of TTH in the simplified temporary cross section approach. <clears throat> and for the, uh, the couplings, we are probing now <clears throat> small deviation of the coupling with respect to standard model ones through this uh, um, wide program of anomalous coupling. <clears throat> search, which is done uh, um, in H2VV in using all the possible decay modes, but also using all the possible visible production modes. modes. And uh, I think we should at least, at least uh, um, improve uh, at most this, this part with, uh, with, uh, with, with, uh, with the entry. Okay, which is, uh, will be very exciting because uh, this data can reveal uh, at least some uh, uh, glints of, of new physics that will <laughs> probably give uh, hope for, uh, for the high luminosity LHC. And that's it. Okay, thank you, Manuel, for a very nice talk. Uh, let's have, so uh, if there are any questions, please raise your hands. I cannot see you. I do not see any raised hand. I think it's going to be late uh, in your time zone. It's not too late. It's uh, okay. Six o'clock on this. Anyway, thank you. Very nice talk. Yeah. Okay. If not, then let's thank all the speakers of this session and uh, over to you, Kaju. Th thank you for the invitation yeah. to this nice uh, week. I will uh, try to follow the, re the rest. Nice talk. Thank you. Yeah, hopefully in future we'll see you in person in Mumbai. Yeah, we hope to see. <laughs> hope so. But I want just since I think this is the last uh, <clears throat> the last presentation of the session. Let me say that especially for the for the young people. Uh, all, all these measurements that I presented, you see that there is a consistency with the standard model. But also, if you look positive, there are uh, there are places where uh, really there are hints of uh, deviations, which are not uh, significant, of course. But uh, uh, I think shed some light of uh, of hope that we are able to find uh, something something new. And I think that um, I want to invite you to. To, to be proactive and to, um, to participate to, to the analysis uh, actively and try not to repeat because now it's, I think you can, uh, um, I think it could be a, a, a mistake if we just repeat uh, what was done in the past. I think all these uh, analysis, for example, yeah, in, the, uh, in the anomalous cap in this land, I think uh, we are really doing something, something new. Uh, and uh, you can, young people can help because with, with new ideas, okay? And for example, you, uh, the application, uh, the, sometimes we use the, 
for example, Mela here yeah. uh, for the discrimination, but uh, in several channels, uh, not ZZ, but uh, for example, Gamma Gamma or, uh, or uh, the bar, uh, people are using uh, neural networks or uh, deep neural networks or something more sophisticated to do the, uh, the, the hypothesis discrimination, because, for example, the final state is much more complicated than for leptons. And I think people can really profit of these new uh, tools that uh, we have uh, to, to physics, okay? And uh, try to be excited and uh, curious and proactive. Yeah, but Emmanuel, uh, yes. Uh, when we are doing STXS measurement for weeks to gamma gamma, mm -hmm. so we are trying to find out this anomalous coupling. Okay, so we are just starting a measurement for STXS measurement. Okay. Yeah, we are uh, trying to use Mela, but we are just at the beginning. We are uh, still understanding how to use it properly, how to use it. Okay. Well, I think uh, there are, uh, nowadays there are, uh, I think we have the developers in CMS, uh, so that are kind to, to explain how to use, because I, I understand that sometimes if one look, for example, at the, example of the four leptons, one get lost, you know? so a student especially can, <laughs> can get lost in the complexity of the analysis. But still, I think, uh, try to, 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 to get back to the expert because they are very kind to, to explain, uh, let's say, the basics. And then uh, you, you have to start from building the most simple uh, analysis. And then you understand why you do things, you understand the tools, and then you, you can have also the idea to, to go, to go but uh, beyond yeah among the topics you co covered of course you co covered quite a lot uh, do you want to specify one or two places where one should uh, um, investigate more uh, so I, I think one um, I, I think in cms uh, okay for leptons i think is the is um, th there is no much uh, um, there is no, no much room to, to improve because it was, it was the first one, uh, so it is very well exploited. But for it, and also Gamma Gamma, I think, uh, is uh, quite uh, covered. I think that, that WW, at least in the, in the land of uh, H2VB case, uh, is the one where uh, one can contribute more because the final state is very complicated. So uh, if you, it, 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 w, WW, so I think the WW to Lepton to Neutrino is. Uh, um, a very good place because on one side you understand a lot of uh, physics because you have all the possible backgrounds that <laughs> contribute and you use, you use all the possible physics objects uh, that you have in CMS, so missing energy, detailing, and so on. And I think it's the one where at least, in the, for example, in the anomalous coupling is, is the least uh, covered. Yeah, so I, I think it's a it's a good it's a good place where to, to go. but not much, nothing much. Yeah. Okay. yeah, surely as you said that we will uh, look into it and we'll spread the news for new students getting involved. That will be nice. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Sumit. Okay, so I stop sharing. Okay, thank you so much. Bye. Bye. Thank you, Anura. Thank you. You're welcome. You could just spare the time. That is nice at a short notice.